Hello everybody. I'm hoping this is reaching you because I've got a little warning flashing on my screen that says poor connection. And uh, I really love this place, so I'm, I'm hoping this will be of some value. I don't know who you are. I can see I have one person watching, so I'm just gonna hang on just a tick and see if anyone else joins in. Robert, you're the first. Hello, Robert. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much indeed. I'm hoping this live stream works because this is a really, really, really difficult spot. Bizarrely, we're right behind the airport. So we should have a good connection, but it keeps saying it's not a good connection. Hello, everybody. Wow, look at you all streaming in. That's just so exciting. Morning, morning, morning. Hello, everybody. That's so cool of you to come. Um, is the picture all right? Can someone just give me a couple of yes, thumbs up, whatever. Just tell me that the, the sound and the picture is working okay. Seems good. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I've got lots of yeses there and a perfect. Thank you, Bernard. That's fantastic. Hello, Tony. All perfect. Good. I'm glad it's good for you, Mr. Tony Vile. Fantastic. Lovely. Okay, so where are we? Right now, we are behind the airport in uh, Siem Reap, which is, of course, where we're staying in Cambodia. I love it in this region because this is a rural area. This is where you get to meet real Cambodian people. This is how the vast majority of Cambodians live. We are going to be spending the afternoon. We're going to go to a little pagoda and I may broadcast to you from there as well if we get the chance. We might be able to shoot some sunset down on a place called West Barai and I hopefully may be able to do something there. Sunsets are a bit iffy because we don't know how long it's going to take, whatever. But right now we've come to visit, hello Ken, a sticky rice farmer. Because this is kind of how most people live their lives, you know. This is how the rural Cambodians live. In that little hut there, you can see Greg there, is the family. And they survive by growing a little bit of rice in the paddy field, which you can see over my shoulder behind me through the trees. They grow the rice, they thresh it out, they harvest it here, they thresh it out here. And then in this little shed here, they then mix it with coconut and beans and, it, and then they cook it and pack it into bamboo tubes that is then sold into the market. And this is really how these people earn their living. And if you're ever out in the wilds, if you're traveling in a country such as Cambodia or anywhere else for that matter, I strongly urge you to just stop. We've been coming here for two years, but the first time we came here, it was just a case of driving past and saying, that looks really interesting. And just walking in and saying, hi guys, can we take some photos? And they're delighted. And in fact, we brought them a couple of photos and gave them some prints that we took last year. Um, I saw someone say I'm loving the headband. Yes, it is really hot and humid here and wet. And if I don't wear it, the sweat drips off my nose and it goes all over the back of the camera and down my shirt. It's not pretty. So that's why I wear it. So let's just go and have a little look and let me see if I can show you what's going on here. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see a little better. So in the background here, you can see the potential for pictures. And here we got Lucy and Simon shooting here, and we got Charlene shooting there. Hi, Soon. Hi, how are you? Hi. Give everyone a wave. You're live on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, you are. Hi. <laughs> Soon, I have done an interview with. I'm sure you will be meeting him more. So you can see what's happening here. The lady with the hat is laying these hollow bamboo tubes, which are now stuffed with the rice, onto the fire, and they're cooking. They're roasting and cooking with the coconut, etc. You can see the light on her face is absolutely gorgeous when she looks over this way. Above, sitting on the little platform there, I guess is one of the family, and he's just trimming down some fresh bamboo tubes to cook them which, you know, he passes to her, they pack them with the rice, they roast them over the fire. And I think you can see what a lovely face this lady has. And you can also see how totally unfazed they are by us being here, which is awesome. Let's come around the other side and see if we can find something. Hello, what are you doing, Auntie Hoon? <laughs> what are you doing? She's stolen my camera. She's got my camera. That's Sharon Hoon. She is our production, she's the, she's the lady who gets all the organization done for these things. Let's see if we can get in here. Look, you see what a cool shot that could be? You see as you move around, look, sorry, am I on your way, Charlene? I am, aren't I? Am I? 
Yes. Where are you? Who are you shooting? Where are you photographing? Where, oh, the kids. Sorry. <sighs> One of our participants told me to bugger off, understandably. <laughs> Look at that, you see? Think about composition when you're going somewhere like this because you see, look, you see how the lady, she'll just sit and look and she's quite happy. When she looks that way, you see how the light on her face changed? Rewind the video and it saves in the playlist and have a look. When we go somewhere, it's really tempting to just get the camera out and go click. And that's really boring, isn't it? Look at the difference when you come down here. Charlene wants me to show you all a photo, hang on. What do you got? I'm just going to get in close. Wow. The photo that you walked through. The, hang on, the photo that I walked through and destroyed. Let me just try and zoom in for you. Look. This is what Charlene was shooting. Let's see if I can get rid of the shadow a bit. The highlight yeah. has gone go. off. They were just, they're rocking in the, in the, uh, like that? That's better. Okay. Yeah. Hang on, let me get the microphone. So the gun. They switch were, your camera on again. Okay. Thank they you. were playing in the hammock and rocking back and forth. And I was just waiting patiently until they popped their heads up. And so I then could, I stood in front of you. <laughs> yes. And you got a picture of my ass or something. <laughs> <laughs> so, poor Charlie. <laughs> I'm sorry, mate. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm going to go away and get out of your way. Oh, dear. Where's Bernie gone? There he is! What are you two doing? We're comparing uh -huh. notes. You're comparing notes? Yeah. Here we go. You don't need, need to know why. Why? Or what. Okay. It's probably something disgusting. No, not these, at all. These, not the, at all. But the two Aussies disappeared off into Pub Street last night yeah, to go and have did. a walk around. And all like, we found was a spider. All you found was a spider. On a skewer. Which I found underneath my battery charger <laughs> on my desk this morning when I came down to do this morning's yeah. raw processing. That's good. Thanks, boys. Yeah, Thanks, boys. That's really nice. What do we got? Greg. Oh, yeah. I don't know if we can... I, see if I can get it on here. Hang on. Hold that still. See if I can turn the camera around. So, oh, I've turned it the wrong way. I'm sorry. Oh, come on. Here we go. What do we got? Uh, we just got a reflection at the moment. I don't, I don't think you can see it, but that's Greg chewing on a tarantula. That's the other Aussie chewing on a tarantula spider last night in Pub Street. Goodness sake. <laughs> all I can say... We're having a good time, that's all you can say. I don't know if you heard any of that, because I couldn't hold the camera, hold the phone, hold everything. Aren't you multi-skilled? Um, pardon? Aren't you multi-skilled? Not really, can't, mate. No. no. Okay. So how are you doing, mate? You've been I'm shooting great. some awesome pictures. Do you mind me having a little chat? Not at all. Oh, that's really kind of you. Thank you, yeah, buddy. Thanks. Yeah. Just don't ask me about Lightroom. No, no. no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You've had a few problems there, haven't you, mate? I've had a few small issues there. Yeah. But we're getting them sorted out thanks to, to you and Simon. No, mate. That's yeah. very kind. That's good. But, uh, so, yeah. yeah no, it's no. important to get your Lightroom workflow sorted out because... Absolutely, you can get into all sorts of problems if you, you don't have a, you a nice, can. clear workflow. A nice, clear yeah. workflow I can't to say get your hard drives. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, Paul Burney, he's really gone through some hell the last couple of days, but I think we're sorted out now, yeah. so that's cool, mate. Yeah. yeah. No, it's been great. What have you got in the way of pictures there? Because ah, yeah. I, know, I know that he's just shot some awesome pictures. This is, awesome pictures. This is yes, little... you're right. This is the man who shot the awesome butterfly pictures. You Thank see? you, yeah. You have an yeah. audience now, mate. Lovely. You do. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I've got to turn the camera around, hold the microphone and do a million things. Hang on, Maybe hold we should still. go into the shade. Let's go into the shade. Let's have a look. Oh, oh, don't sorry. fall over. Well, just stop, what happened then? Stopping. Something happened then. Is everyone still there? I've got a big red signal. Somebody give me a yes or something. 